Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Genesis GV70 electric. Now we have driven the GV70 gasoline version before. I'm a huge fan, but this is the electric version. It is all wheel drive. It comes in two trim levels, the Prestige and the Advanced. In addition, they are all all wheel drive and it has two motors. So this vehicle not just performs, but it also offers a lot of technology. So let's take a look at this vehicle and what you need to know before you go and purchase one or at least take one for a test drive. There's a lot of competitors in this class and we'll cover that as well as the technology and the cargo space and the price and we'll take it for a test drive and we're gonna test that boost mode because that's what makes this vehicle super fun. If you've seen the GV60, which is the smaller version, this is the GV70. This is a midsize luxury four-door five-seater SUV. Let's get started with the vehicle itself. It looks exactly like the GV70, but there are a few additional things. You've got your LED lights, except for this grill is completely smooth. But what is also interesting about this grill is you can pull directly into a charging station, press on that G logo, and there is your charge ports. And you can charge on all the different systems, whether it's the fast charger or the regular charging system. We'll talk about charge times when we go into the hood, so stay with us. You will notice the GV70 stripes that are common for all the Genesis lineup. It does not have the turn signals on the side like the GV80, just here in the front headlights. The Genesis GV70 electric rides on alloy wheels that are 20 inch. Our test vehicle rides on Michelin all season tires. When you look at the profile of the GV70 electric, it is the same as the GV70. This vehicle comes with a three year 36,000 mile valet and maintenance program as part of the price, plus that 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain and the electric charging system on this vehicle. And that's why people like the Genesis Hyundai lineup as well as Kia, because they have the longest warranty in the business. Coming around to the back of the GV70 electric, you'll see that it looks just like the GV70 with the same upper wing with the integrated third brake light and you've got the wiper here. Genesis logo here and the stripes again continue for the tail lights that are LED GV70 here and nowhere does it say electric. So no one knows you're driving a fuel efficient vehicle and the fact that this is such a sporty looking luxury car, it doesn't make a difference because you're driving something that is very impressive. Let's talk about the technology in this vehicle, starting with the center screen. It's important to note visibility. When you put the vehicle in reverse, you get a nice around view camera. It also has navigation. You can separate this any way you want. In addition, you can have, look at that, isn't that cool? You can actually see all the way around the vehicle by just doing that, or you can just use the backup camera. It also has the smart park system, which I think is one of the best on the market. Really cool setup. Inside the GV70 is Napa leather seating on the Prestige trim. Beautiful leather, really soft, nicely detailed. They're heated and ventilated seats. And of course, all your adjustments are right here, including your massaging seats, your lumbar, and all the adjustments are right here. And it appears on the center screen. So when you touch the buttons, you can actually adjust it very simply. Same is true for the passenger side you do get premium seating. In addition, on the passenger seat, you can move the seat forward or back from the back seat, as well as fold it forward if needed. If you've got people in the vehicle, you don't have to get out. Nice little touch that Genesis has always offered. Take a look at the second row in that same beautiful white Napa leather. Of course, there are other colors that are available. In addition, you've got netting behind both seats. Manual screens right here. That comes with the Prestige package. Lexicon Audio is also in the Prestige package. It's a 15 speaker system, really nice. And of course, this Alcantara cover, which goes over the sunroof, which is gigantic. Behind the center console, you've got two vents and climate control and additional charging. The Prestige trim level offers three stage heated seats. This vehicle has two connections for latch mounts for child safety seats. And behind the center console, you've got additional storage, really nice and clean. The seats fold 60-40. There's also buttons here for the different drive modes, and it can alert you to the different drive modes as well. And you can set up the My Drive mode. 
This vehicle comes with active sound, which means it absorbs some of the noise from the road surface so it's nice and quiet inside the cabin and you can adjust that as well. Very nicely done. And of course you go into those backup systems here, the different sounds. You can have those if you choose to have it. Kind of neat, part of technology. You can also adjust your head up display. I'm going to enable that and that comes with the Prestige package. I, I really like it personally. Some people don't. There's also cluster illumination. You can go into that 3D cluster. I personally like the 3D. You may not, but you have that option available. It has welcome sounds. Everything is adjustable on this touch screen. Even the seats have a space for it, so you can pick if you want the ergo motion, a smart posture where it tells you to sit up straight. I think we can all use that. Lights and door and so forth. All of that is right here. Again, there's a lot of settings. You can spend quite a bit of time with the dealer if you purchase this vehicle to go through all those different settings. For the electric vehicle mode, it'll show you the charging. It'll show you what you're using, the battery conditioning, all of this including the smart regeneration, which can make the brakes feel a little grippy, are right here. Again, everything just takes time to learn to go through these different modes and what works for you, because this is your vehicle. You want to make sure that you're comfortable in it. We'll start all the way to the right. You've got your owner's manual here, although there is also one underneath the rear cover. So at least you know you've got that. Your notifications, you can adjust your climate, your quiet modes, your seat, your valet. That's your setup where you'll find all your safety features, your voice memo, connected services, phone, your media, satellite radio. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, they are corded, not cordless. That's important to note. Hit that navigation menu and you can set up everything you need from your home to where you are. In addition, there is a map and you can see that I'm out near the New York State Thruway here and big navigation screen. If you choose to split it, you can split it as well. And when you do split it, you can decide what information you want there. And I think that is very helpful. Those buttons are also here. The center console in front of you, you've got your modes as well. So you can adjust what you wish. Wish If you don't want anything, you just want silence, you can have that as well. I will note that the interior is really nice beautiful colors, wonderful design, real stitching, aluminum details, really impressive. EV start stop is here. You can also do that finger touch control right here. Remember the GV60 has a facial recognition. This vehicle does not have that, but that may be coming soon. This is your climate control right here and all of your main buttons for map, navigation, your favorites, radio, media, and setup. You've got your park assist here your drive modes, which you can adjust. They adjust the gauges in front of you. And then you've got all of your systems here. So you can also adjust the center screen by turning this dial. And that is also something that you might prefer to do rather than leaning forward to touch the screen. When you go into the navigation screen and you wish to put something down, this center button is also for finger touch controls. Further back, you have your dial pretty standard for all of the Genesis product for reverse, drive, neutral, and park. There's also auto hold. Your wireless charging is here as well as USB and USB-C, two cup holders. And underneath this beautiful cup holder is additional charging as well as storage. There's storage up front here as well. I do like the GV60. I'm surprised it didn't do it because it's a drawer instead of a drawer, but maybe that's coming in the near future. In front of you on the steering wheel is beautiful leather again, which is all stitched. You've got your controls, which would be the same as what you'd expect on any Genesis, your climate control, the lane departure, and all the adjustments for that. This is the boost button, which gives you about 35 additional horsepower for 10 seconds. And believe me, it throws you into the seat. I do like the nice grippy steering wheel. It is white. You may not want this color. I personally like it. Would I own it? I don't know. It might get dirty, but that's, again, you could always clean it. This is for your regen for your battery. You put it down. You can go all the way to that eye pedal or that one pedal drive. In the screens in front of you, you have different modes you can choose to get different information. Pretty simple to use. Pretty standard in almost any car these days. You're getting a lot of great information. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have hill descent traction control and opening the trunk as well as the parking brake.
On the doors you have some beautiful controls. They're all aluminum as well as memory seating for two different people. Overall, the interior is just beautiful. Lovely design. If you want something that makes a statement, the Genesis really has taken the lead and the Germans aren't very happy about this because their products are taking a lot of sales away from the Germans because of the details, the long warranty, and maintenance is included. And that's why Genesis is doing so well. Let's talk about safety since we're talking about visibility and the smart park, that's all part of it. That's here under the vehicle settings under driver assistance. Now what this does is it shows you the different systems and how it works. A lot of manufacturers are starting to put this in to explain to you what all these three letter acronyms mean. For your driving convenience, your forward safety, speed limiter, lane safety, driver attention, blind spot safety, and parking is all right here. As you touch each one, you can make the adjustment to an active, a warning, or otherwise, and it explains what each one of them do. In addition to this, you can also have that lead vehicle departure, which is really good when you're sitting at a traffic light. Maybe you're checking your phone you're not supposed to, but it will fair warn you, hey, the vehicle in front of you moved, forward attention warning, inattentive. All these different settings are here. You can turn them on or you can turn them off. Under the hood of the GV70 electric is this front cover, but under that is your tire mobility kit and a minimal amount of additional storage for an emergency kit or maybe an extra charging cable. But underneath this cover is an all electric, dual motor, all wheel drive system, 429 horsepower worth 516 pound feet of torque. There's that boost button on the steering wheel that gives you a shot of up to 483 horsepower for up to 10 seconds. Standard is the 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack with 235 miles of range. Charging time, 18 minutes on a fast charger that will get you up to 80%. Because this is 800 volt architecture, the fastest on the system that's out there, and that's what you want. The slower systems will take much longer, but for this vehicle, 18 minutes will get you to 80%. Transmission is a one-speed direct drive, all-wheel drive for all of the models, 0 to 60 time, 3.8 seconds. That's faster than the B6 version, which was 4.9. Fuel economy, 91 miles to the gallon, that's MPGE. Five drive modes, it has iPedal drive, which is one pedal, and vehicle to load. So while you're charging, you can also charge other devices. Pulling out in the GV70, the first thing you notice is that it rides really quietly because there is this electronically controlled suspension that has cameras that view the roadway and will adjust accordingly. And that's in all the different drive modes. Now the different drive modes are at the front of the center console, there is an eco, a comfort, a sport, and a my mode. So that's four, but there's also a boost mode. So we'll talk about that. We're gonna go starting off into the sport mode. Woo, this thing has got power and I really like that about this vehicle because what you don't want to give up when you move to electric is to have the performance to pass. Are you going to use it every day? Probably not. But having something that gives you the power when you need it to pass, when you need it to avoid an accident is fantastic. We'll go into some of these curves here and it doesn't have much body roll. It actually adjusts accordingly in the sport mode which I do appreciate. And we are gonna use that boost button, so you wanna stay for that. We have to find a nice, safe area to do that. And I've got just the perfect area. But in the meantime, I wanna just drive this thing in all the different drive modes so you can get a feel. So when you go to the sport mode, the gauges change. Now they do have that 3D gauges, like I was saying, where you can have the 2D if you don't like it, but it allows you all those different settings. Going into the comfort mode just softens everything, gives it a nice, softer drive, which, is appreciated and then if you're thinking about fuel economy which you would in an electric vehicle which is part of the process of owning an electric vehicle is saving on fuel or saving on charge in this case you would drop down to that eco mode and it still has good performance not as good as the sport mode obviously but it is a nice comfortable ride 
and you won't be disappointed if you're just looking at driving this vehicle daily. Now, if you're thinking about an electric car, there's a ton of competitors. We'll talk about that at the end. And believe me, the competition is even within its own brand, let alone all the competitors that are out there. So there's a lot to choose from. And then don't forget that $7,500 tax credit, which may only be available in a lease. It may not be available in a purchase. Only certain brands allow for that. So it's really important that you do your homework before you make a decision and thinking you're going to get $7,500 back. And it's not a discount. It's a credit against your taxes. So that's also important to note. We're going to accelerate right here. We're going to go into the sport mode. I like how quiet the turn signals are. They're just whisper quiet. They're nice. You know they're on, but they're not intrusive. Woo! Wow, this just takes right off. I mean, this is nice. Now, I've driven other electric cars and I've reviewed them all on my channel, so you can check that out. And yes, much like a Tesla or anything else, it has great performance, but you typically don't drive it that way. You just drive it every day to go to work, take your kids to school, go to the airport, whatever it might be that you do every single day. And this vehicle, I've always been a huge fan of the Genesis lineup. I think they make fantastic product. I think the big secret to all their product is the long warranty, the great technology, and that it's all standard. And that includes the safety. You're getting everything. And the best thing that Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia offers is the turn signals that turn into cameras for blind spot. That is brilliant. And I'm shocked that no one has come up with a competitive item that is even equivalent. They've come up with some, sometimes, you know, backup cameras and such, you know, they put the cameras in the rearview mirrors. All oh, that's fine. Let's make a pass on this vehicle here. Boom. I love it. Just takes right off like a rocket ship. That's the one thing I do like about the electric cars is the quick passing, that instant acceleration, that instant torque, because you buy horsepower and you drive torque and that's great. Now, are you driving like that every day? No. It is probably, like I said, something that you will use when needed. When you go into the trunk, there is a lot of additional options that are included. Starting with behind that second row seat, you have 28.7 cubic feet of storage. Fold down that second row and you're at 56.5 cubic feet of storage. But this is some of the cool features that come standard with the GV70 electric. Standard with the GV70 electric is this vehicle to load. This allows you to charge a cell phone, a laptop, an iPad, whatever you might want while you're charging. This comes in a nice little case. Genesis includes the charging cable with it. Not all brands are including this. Many are eliminating the cables, but this allows you to charge at home or wherever you find an outlet. In the back is also a 12 volt outlet and additional storage. The 2023 Genesis GV70 electric starts at $65,000. Our test vehicle is a prestige that has all the goodies, which includes the Napa leather, the, all the top safety features, heated rear seats, and so, so much more, including head up display and the Lexicon audio. Bring this vehicle in plus delivery at a window sticker price of $74,000. There are not a lot of incentives, but there is a tax credit Credit. So make sure that you look into the tax credit. It would be available in a lease. It would not be available in a purchase. Those rules are constantly changing. So when you watch this, those rules could have changed again. So make sure to check with the dealer. Some dealers are getting this added on based on where the battery is built and where the vehicle is built as well. Those are all factors with the government incentive. Either way, you'd be very pleased to have a vehicle like this. It has great performance. It's got great technology. And if you like the Genesis lineup, you will love the electric version as an option if you don't want the gas version. On the negative side, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are plug-in, and that is disappointing. There's just so many electric vehicles to choose from. You have to decide what works for you. Don't just test drive the vehicle and get the price. Make sure you check with your insurance agent. That's gonna be a huge factor on what it costs to replace this car in case there's any damage. All those factors need to be considered. We've covered all their competitors on our website at Car Coach Reports. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below. If you have any comments or questions, I am more than happy to answer them. Also, there are links in the description for the website, the podcast, the book, and of course, my social media at Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you next time.